Hi guys, my name is David Garofalo and this is Cigar Spotlight. Welcome this week and you know there's a lot of cigars out nowadays that uh, use numbers instead of names and uh, that goes for automobiles, that goes for um, guns. Uh, it seems marketing to men, the idea is to use a number and uh, guys uh, minds work that way so if you're putting out a product uh, a number is a good way to go so this seems to be what's happening in the world and you got the uh, Kusano 18, you got Rocky Patel 1990's you got uh, M12's, there's, there's just so many nowadays and now we have a new one out here today called 724 but I'll tell you something about this cigar um, these guys may have started, this is a new cigar yet, these guys may have started the whole thing with the numbers and I'll explain uh, in a minute as we get into uh, 724 which is a Honduran cigar looks like a, a very dark cigar, not quite a Maduro but a very dark um, wrapper on it, I believe this is a Montefina wrapper I uh, could be mistaken but that's what I hear Famous for quality, 724 K.A. Kendall's. I'll tell you a little something about this cigar. Let's give it a cut and a light. Um, this is uh, the size here. It's a Corona, and they call this size the 724 uh, with the little pigtail on the end of it. So uh, let's uh, cut that pigtail off. Um, that's all you got to really cut off is just a little, little part of that pigtail. Don't ever cut it too far. It's a beautiful drawer. Taste a little, uh, little pepper and spice uh, right off the bat before even lighting this. There was a company out more than a hundred years ago called R.G. Sullivan. They made cigars here in Manchester, New Hampshire. Their address was 724 Elm Street, Manchester, New Hampshire. I always thought that 724 stands for their, their hours of operation, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, but uh, that wasn't the case. It was 724 Elm Street in Manchester. And they started around 1875. They went out of business in 1963 and um, they actually made cigars out of Cuban tobacco all those years. Uh, it was a huge company that made lots of cigars. The cigars were 10 cents in those days and uh, from what I understand they were very good cigars and very popular but they did go out of business in 1963 and um, just recently uh, the cigar uh, came, came out again. Uh, unfortunately not 10 cents anymore but uh, I'll tell you something I said it before and I'll say it again, the greatest cigars ever made are right now. These are the greatest cigars that have ever been made. I did not have uh, a chance to smoke a 724, it was before I was smoking cigars when, the, when the, the company went out of business, but I'll tell you, I can't imagine it being better than this cigar is today. The 724, not R. G. Sullivan anymore, it's K. A. Kendall, and it's 724 and the owner is here in New Hampshire. cost of the cigar is between seven and nine dollars. This, um, this is the lowest price one which is the Corona. I like to uh, sample a Corona when I'm trying out, out a new cigar. Um, it, gives, it gives me the best instant taste. It's not too thick. Um, it, it, it's going to give all the flavor at once. And I'll tell you, a lot of flavor. This is a black pepper bomb. Holy mackerel. Uh, lots of spice and black pepper in it. I like it. It's rich and full bodied in taste, yet not too overpowering. I, I don't like very, very strong cigars, harsh cigars, and there's none of that. It's, it's pretty cool tasting, yet I'm smoking the Corona. And uh, pretty smooth for the kind of strength that it has. It's a, it's a good cigar, and, and, and my belief is, before all these brands came out with the numbers, 
It was 724. They're the first people, I think, to do it. And um, here it is again, coming back to life. Little history lesson there for 724 and a new cigar on the market from Honduras. 724, famous for quality. It is a quality product, and I recommend you give it a shot. That's it for this week's video spotlight. Enjoy.